to my channel my name's Jane and this is the dressmakers closet so apparently somebody said a couple of weeks ago that if you're over 50 you shouldn't wear florals so in response to that I'm 55 I'm wearing florals I've made three floral dresses welcome back and if you just found my channel and you love a bit of dressmaking then please don't forget to subscribe and even better if you could like the video if you've enjoyed it and then that will really help my uh, channel grow thank you so much in advance so yeah so I don't know who this person was there was a bit of a hoo-ha over on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and I was thinking well you know everybody's, in everybody's entitled to their opinion it's just that when you try to force your opinion on others that's I think you draw I draw the line there and I just thought there's nothing that isn't going to stop me you can write all you like in the newspapers journalist person whoever you were you can write as much as you like about being over 50 but I ain't taking any notice of it I can tell you now I'll be wearing florals in my 90s and I'm going to say that on camera I love florals and I don't see why I can't wear what I want and as long as I'm happy, I feel amazing, I feel good, I'm wearing it, whether it's florals or plain. It probably be, will be 95% probably floral, knowing me. If you know me, you know it will be. But yeah, so I just don't take any notice of that and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to show you my floral dresses that I've made this week. I've made three this week. By coincidence, they're all Minerva fabrics. I'm a blogger for Minerva, and by coincidence, I just so happened to pick these three fabrics. They're all summery floral, and I just thought I'm going to get them made soon as, because obviously we're in mm, July now, and I've only got like no, maybe six, six, eight weeks maximum before we come into the autumn. And I thought, well, let's get them made. Let's get some gorgeous summer dresses made and, and get them on. So these are all Minerva, and they're all, like I say, floral. I think we'll start with the geranium dress. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll have seen me wearing this. Please come over and follow me if you don't already. All the details will be in the box below and I'm going to pop pictures up as I'm chatting just to show you me wearing them. I'm not wearing any of them today because I wanted to hold them up and show you. But obviously, I'm wearing floral. So, so yeah, so this is this gorgeous geranium fabric I mean how delicious is that look at those colors they're all the colors in my color season uh, I am warm autumn and oh, I just love them turquoise is one of my colors which I would never have said three years ago I would never have picked turquoise but it's one of my colors and it really does really does complement my skin tone my hair my eyes so it's a color that I tend to go for now and these are my colors all these pinks and lilacs and greens they're all my shades and as soon as I saw this fabric I thought yeah it's gonna be a dress it screams a summer dress and I thought this is gonna be perfect for my Peggy dress now my Peggy dress is these are all drafted these are all my patterns that I haven't sewn uh, any indie patterns these are all mine and I thought the Peggy dress would be perfect. Now, the Peggy dress, I drafted this, mm, I think it was last year, and I made it in that gorgeous plaid brushed cotton. Fairly simple design, fairly, you know, there's nothing, there's no frills and flounces, which I am tempted to add when I'm drafting patterns, I tell you. I have to rein it in, and I reined it in for this design, so I thought the Peggy dress would be perfect. So it's just got two bust darts, and invisible zip at the back and cute little shortish sleeves gathered skirt and pockets lovely deep pockets but this is an extended version of the peggy dress because the peggy dress originally was like knee just above knee length like smock length and because i got two and a half meters of two and a half meters of this one two and a half meters of this one and three meters of this one i wanted to use all the fabric up i didn't want to waste any of it so i used got the bodices out and the sleeves out and i used whatever was left to give me the length of the skirt so there was nothing 
planned as such for the length I just thought I'll just use the fabric and see where it brings me so this one's kind of brought me to I would say midi it's not maxi but midi length just midway on my calves and I really like the length and dresses on me I'm more of a smock over jeans type of girl and I, this year I thought I'm gonna you know work outside the box a little bit go outside my comfort zone try something else try a different style they don't like it well, at the end of the day it's only some material you know what I mean it's not the end of the world and I thought yeah I'm gonna make more dresses it's summer I'm gonna get my legs out I'm gonna put my sandals on and I'm gonna wear some dresses and I'm so glad I did started off with a t-shirt dress I absolutely love those dresses that I made Feel so feminine and I've been really converted let me tell you so yeah so I just thought perfect for a Peggy dress and it just is it's just lovely simple style but with a really pretty fabric and it just tells its own story I think and it's again a dress I could wear if I wanted to layer it maybe if it was a little bit cooler maybe going into the autumn I would still wear this still wear this and I could wear it with a long sleeve skinny tee underneath. I could even wear a, like a granddad, uh, one of my granddad's skimpy knitted vests on the top. You know, I could put one of my, um, I could put in fact one of my, let me find them. I could pop one of my Audrey collars over the top, which the pattern for this is in my shop. Um, that was a good link wasn't it that wasn't planned but yeah so I could pop that over the top let me just pop it on properly so you can see how pretty is that so yeah and yeah I just absolutely love it I just love it because it's simple and it's it's plain and the fabric speaks for itself so yeah so that's the Peggy dress and hopefully down the line I would love to bring all my designs out in, into sewing patterns that's something I would love to do. I'm currently working on the Martha top at the minute. As you know, if you follow me, the Martha top with a high low hem. I'm currently working on that in a sewing pattern at the minute. But yeah, so back to the Betty dress. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'll pop the link if you love these fabrics. As I say, they are they're all part of Minerva. And I'll pop the links to all three fabrics. They are still available on their site. And yeah. And it's floral so yeah mr journalist or journalist person what do you think of that so yeah so that is the peggy dress i just love it just simple but gorgeous really pretty and you know if i if i put something on and i like it and i feel good and um yeah i like it and i feel good that's all that matters to me if i put something on it's funny because i've got a wardrobe full of clothes or oh, i'm 95 percent there handmade now wardrobe full of clothes I love them all there's nothing in my wardrobe I do not wear I wear everything that I make but some days I might put something on and I'm not feeling it that's a, that's that's slightly different I might not be feeling it that day I might not be I put it on and maybe I'm not feeling it because the weather isn't the weather isn't giving me the vibes or whatever or I might just not be in that particular mood I might not be feeling it I might take it off and put something else on and then I might feel the outfit so there's a difference there with what you make is if you feel good there's there's a different all my all my clothes i feel good wearing but some days i might not be feeling it but not necessarily don't feel good in it if you know what i mean well if i put something on and i feel good i feel amazing i feel a million dollars then i'm wearing it i couldn't care whether it's floral floral and floral i'm gonna wear it i do have some planes i have the odd dot polka dot my t-shirt dress and I don't, I don't particularly like geometric, so I probably wouldn't pick anything geometric. That's to say I'm not going to say never say never, but it's not something I would naturally go towards because it's a little bit more geometrics and like Aztec type of styles, a little bit more on the modern side, and I'm definitely a vintage retro, stroke, retro type of girl. I like anything with that vintage look, days gone by, you know, the... the um, Civil War prints, I love all those ditzy prints. I love the, you know, um, 
uh, the Second World War prints. I love 1940s styles and I pick up on some of those styles and I like to incorporate them. So that's the type of thing I would go for anyway. But that's what I like and I'm going to make what I like and that's what we all should do, shouldn't we? So I'm not going to be swayed by what somebody says in the press or over on Instagram and says, oh, you should be doing this or you should be doing that or when you reach a certain age, you can't wear this anymore. Oh no, not in my, not in my book. So in defiance, I've made three dresses. So that was dress number one. And then moving on to dress number two, which again is, this is a happy accident actually, this one. This one was based on my Primrose dress, which is a dress I designed last year. High neck with a ruffle on the collar, a ruffle on the sleeves, gathered skirt and pockets, and it's a fitted bodice, so it's got the darts, bust dart, waist starts on the front and waist starts on the back. So I used the my pattern for from this to start build the foundation for on this one but I knew obviously I didn't want to repeat that dress otherwise I could have just made that dress and I thought right I'm going to widen the neck to kind of like a um, not quite bought neck style but something on that line and so I'd, I proper scooped the neck out and lowered it slightly as well at the back because obviously summer dress so I wanted something a little bit more airy shall we say and then invisible invisible zip and then I added a facing and then I didn't use the sleeves at all I just used the bodice and then I designed some poofy gathered sleeves with a cute little cuff and it just, they just sit on the elbow type of thing and again gathered skirt and I could only use the fabric that I had and I only had enough to do like knee length dress and then I added what was left to this cute fill at the bottom i'm just looking at i'm just looking in the monitor there and i just absolutely love this fabric because it's like a patchwork type of thing it's, again it's a cotton i think it's a cotton poplin and look at those colors pinks and blues and kind of aqua ish and very i just think it's got proper cottage car written all over it and i just thought add in the frill on the bottom and the puffy sleeves i just thought yeah just perfect and again I feel amazing wearing this and me and zips we get on really well now visible zip I can add an invisible zip in no time three years ago me and zips didn't get along I just couldn't get I could put zips in invisible zips I just couldn't couldn't get to grips with it then all of a sudden one day after many hours of practice it clicked and now me and zips were best busy mates and yeah just so in goes the invisible zip match I can you know match up the bodice lines there perfect and yeah I really do love I just love the neckline on this one again not overly fussy I mean obviously it's got a ruffle puffy sleeve so a little bit maybe a little bit fussy but nothing overly but that will bring me to the next one but before I go on to the next one and the last the last and probably my favorite one the happy accident on this one was I saw when I get to my cutting table and I get my pens out, my paper, my rulers and I start drafting, I tend to go in this, this gorgeous little happy world of creativity and marked all the darts, what have you, came to sew it, I put the bust darts in, forgot to mark the waist darts, so I've, there's no waist darts on the front and no waist starts on the back, so, on the back, so now it's gone from a fitted bodice to semi-fitted because it's bust starts so semi-fitted so it's looser but you know I really like really like how it's turned out so a happy accident and I've made a note of what I did for this one so when I make it again I'll probably leave out those waist starts so yeah so happy accidents are good they're not always bad are they? accidents aren't always bad it's a happy accident and I'm quite pleased how it's turned out and I've understitched the facing so it lies nice and flat and this fabric is just amazing love it so that was dress number two moving on to dress number three now this is um, another make of this one I'm wearing my I'm calling it the Dixie dress it's the name that 
I wrote down first of all and I wasn't sure whether to keep it as that but it just it just seems to be right so if you remember I made the Dixie blouse the first time with that gorgeous orange retro floral uh, cotton lawn with the buttons at the back and it was just the frill it was just like a blouse length and then I thought the button placket at the back was far too pretty at the back so then I made this second version and I put the button placket at the front and I made the ruffle uh, much longer because the first one wasn't quite ruffly enough it's got like a simple elastic gather on fairly puffy sleeves gorgeous ruffle bound neck button placket and then on this one just like a smock length there's no pockets in this one I know shock horror I forgot to put the pockets in I think it's because I ran out of fabric I think that's the reason why but anyway so there's no pockets in this one so absolutely love it so when i got this delicious dreamy romantic cotton i just thought this has got to be a full-on maxi length dress version of this so when i asked the lovely ladies at minerva can i have three meters of this it's because i knew it had to be this dress maxi length and by gosh i absolutely love it i mean the fabric alone i mean look at that fabric it's just delicious it's got all my colors and it's got on a like a really delicate orange background so pretty and again it's got cerise pinks pale pinks blue blue flowers as well with little green green sprigs and it's just dreamy as got such a romantic look about it and i took loads of pictures of me wearing it sitting down standing up and it really is my favourite dress I've made so far, I think. I think the fabric and the ruffle, it's just the whole look. It's romantic, it's dreamy, it's vintage looking. I feel like I've just walked, stepped off a set of something like Jane Eyre and it's proper on maxi. I used every scrap of fabric. And again, it's got the pockets. Now the bodice on this one, as the same on this one. Did I put bust starts in? I can't remember whether I did. There was no bust dart, it's a, yeah, this is the dartless bodice I used and it's a shorter, a shorter bodice than the bodices on, like on this dress. And then uh, the ruffle on the neck, which I've obviously bound in the self, self binding and then the button placket. And I just added these three cute little wooden buttons down the front because I thought they'd go quite nice and the skirt is proper full on maxi skirt. Uh, it's just so it's looser look it's looser dreamy oh I just I just love it so yeah so that is the Dixie maxi dress and uh, I'll say this is my favorite out of all three but I do love all three so in response to that person whoever you are if you're happening to be watching if I'm 55 I'm gonna be wearing floral I'm sorry about that I'd love to hear from you if it was you I mean, where did you get that idea from? Seriously, I think we look fabulous in florals, no matter what age you are. Florals forever for me anyway. So yeah, so they are my three floral makes this week and I thoroughly enjoyed making all three. Let me know which ones you like the best. Let me know what you think. Which one would you wear? Would you wear all three? Would you wear florals? Are you over 50? Would you wear florals? Are you over 50? Are you frightened of wearing florals? Maybe a little bit apprehensive wearing florals because you think you shouldn't wear florals. Seriously, it doesn't matter what the fabric is. Florals, stripes, geometrics, planes, doesn't really matter. If you make something and you love it, you wear it. If you make something and you're not happy with it, then you don't wear it. That's that's all there is. That's all there is in my book. I'll make something. Do I like it? Yes, I'm going to wear it. Make something I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to donate it to charity or I'm going to cut it up and make it into something else. That's that's it. There's only two options there. I mean, it's not rocket science, is it? So, yeah, so I've been out in all three dresses and I felt amazing in all three dresses. So, yeah, so that is in my response to whoever, whoever that person was. I'm going to continue to wear florals and prove that's a load of rubbish what you said. But yeah, so, I mean, look at my rail. 
florals, 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 florals. What more can I say? What more can I say? So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please don't forget to give me that lovely like as well. Subscribe if you'd like to follow along with me and come over on Instagram. Please follow me over there and you'll see daily inspiration of my outfits that I wear. And come and say hi. I'd love to hear from you too. I have got a question and answer vlog coming. Thank you for all your lovely questions. So I'm gonna be putting that together as well. So that'll be coming soon too. But yeah, until the next time, what, what can I say? If you love a floral, wear a floral and I shall see you on my next vlog. Bye for now.